So why NH Skiff 13 out of all the options that we have out there in the US market, why did I decide to import this $14,000 skiff here and use it in my home waters of Galveston, Texas versus everything else? Hello everyone, welcome to Off The Water. Today I wanna to talk to y'all about the H Skiff 13 and why it is that I purchased this thing. The main reason was to find something that was kayak sized because I thoroughly enjoy what I get to do on the kayak versus any other platform out there. However, there were marsh systems that were just way too far away to be able to travel to realistically with a kayak. Moving only three, maybe four miles an hour, some of these systems were approximately four miles out. And if you do the math, that's gonna take me about an hour. That's on a good day too, with the conditions on my side. Um, it would take an hour's worth of time just to get there to the fishing grounds. And then you gotta take into consideration the hour commute back to the launch. It's just not practical. So I decided that if I sought out a platform that was still the same size as a kayak, because I thoroughly enjoy kayak fishing, I can store my kayak inside the garage. Um, I would be able to reach all these far off places in a quicker amount of time. And that's why I decided to go with this right here, 13 feet long, 45 inches wide. My kayak behind me on the deck is 12 foot long and 34, 35, somewhere around there inches wide. So the footprint is almost exactly the same. We're still sitting low to the water. I'm just able to go a lot faster on this platform. Uh, I also wanted something that had like a three inch draft and that's what was advertised with this. But and realistically, with myself and all my gear on board, um, it drafts about six inches or more, depending on how much gear that I'm gonna take with me. Uh, the, uh, the, the max rating for an outboard 20 horsepower so that was another ish or deciding factor on going with this right here and fishing the narrow ditches when you're searching out those reds in the back lakes and stuff like that this has a narrow like it, it's it's just narrow and it's like a kayak you can just get into all these small shallow areas another big reason was the fact that i could store this platform inside my garage there's no need to take out a storage unit pay a monthly fee just to keep her safe and sound and that was just something that wouldn't be practical for me to as a full-time fishing youtuber i'm constantly going and coming and doing a storage unit is it just it wasn't in the cards there's no way that i want to leave the comfort of my home the convenience of my home to go pick up the skiff when i need to work on her uh, let's just say installing the fish finder installing the trolling motor uh, working on the trailer doing all of these other things would require me to get dressed leave my home take my tools with me open up a storage unit work on her and then lock everything back up, bring all my tools back. Or you just go to the storage unit, pick her up, and then come all the way back home, work on it, and then have to take it right back to the storage unit. That's just, it's not practical. I did not want to do that. It doesn't even sound appealing in the least. I wanted something to where I could still be lazy, the way I have my kayak behind me tucked away nice inside the garage. I've got that right here too. So at the end of the fishing day, uh, I've got to spray with fresh water, spray the uh, platform down. I've also got to run some of that fresh water through my outboard so that the salt water doesn't have its way with my engine. And it was, it just seemed like a big chore to purchase something that would not fit inside this garage. So that was another deciding factor on why it was I went with this. Uh, charging of the batteries uh, every day and if I needed to just load the platform out the night before I can do that and all I got to do is just walk from my office inside the house out here load her down completely outfit her for tomorrow's fishing day which was something that I could not do if I had the storage unit because if I forgot something it's like oh my gosh I forgot to do that 
I want the convenience of being able to wake up in the morning put her on the truck and then off we go, we're fishing. When deciding to go with this platform, I had been searching for approximately two years. I looked at brands from Piranha, Ambush, uh, Boat was there, Ancona, uh, Solo, East Cape, and uh, also your typical John boats. But none of those truly appealed to me because they lacked the features that this skiff had available. Um, it's n it's not like I knew what I wanted, but well, I mean, so it's like I I did know what I wanted, but I hadn't seen it yet, and I knew that when I saw it, it was going to be the one, and that's what happened. Whenever I finally found this platform, I want to say it was April time frame when I came across every every month or so. I would do search micro skiffs and it was always the typical stuff, solo skiff and then the boat rover uh, platforms uh, of that nature was the only things that would pop up. So uh, when this one finally showed up, I was like just jaw dropped. I was completely amazed at what she had to offer. And then when I started doing my digging, I didn't really find any literature on it, but uh, me being persistent and typing in every like search term to bring up content on this particular platform i just completely fell in love with it the f amount of features that it had the full use of deck space that you get to do that's something that you can't do on a solo skip i mean you if you were a balancing act in the circus then maybe you can stand on the bow but on this one you don't have to be an exceptional like footed person uh, you can come up here on the bow and fish from it without worry of falling over or tipping it and it not feeling stable um, it is the perfect size for one person however if you want to take a second like person out there with you then you can do that you have the seat up here and then back there is where you're gonna pilot it with the tiller so you can fish two people off of it but I think it's the perfect platform for one person that's what I do in my kayak it's what I decided to purchase not like I came from the boater world and I'm like I need a new platform that's that wasn't the case it, it's a kayaker still wanting to stay in the realm of kayak fishing that style footprint but have a lot better, a lot faster, uh, a lot sexier looking, and that's what I got with this one. The platform itself is unsinkable. It's filled with foam and all the nooks and crannies that aren't used. So if you were to cut it in half, it, she's still gonna float. So that was another like plus whenever I did my research on her. The, uh, the gas tank, it's in hull. So there's no need to carry around those red gas tanks uh, that are plastic that you gotta strap them down. It takes up your space. My fuel tank, six gallons, and it's inside the hole, it's out of the way. Um, that's awesome. I can go across the Galveston Ferry with six gallons of fuel in her because it's in hull. You can't do that with just a regular gas can. Uh, it's against the rules, they won't let you do that. So that's another kind of plus that I didn't know about, but had I found out the hard way, well then that's what I would have found out. Um, it's got a proper center console, and what I mean by that, it actually looks like the center console would go on a true sized skiff. You got a seat underneath the live well, we've got a uh, fish finder unit right there, my chart plotter GPS. So when I'm navigating and uh, getting us around, I've got the fish finder to let me know where it is that I'm going on my maps. I drop waypoints at dangerous areas that are very shallow and I have uh, come really close to striking shell and oyster reefs. Uh, so you got that, you got some cup holders, you got uh, in, the center console storage itself for a couple of items, tackle trays, whatever the case may be. The uh, rod holders are there. So it's a proper center console. It actually looks like a center console that you would get on a technical polling skiff. And 
it also had the highest horsepower rating or outboard rating in its class. So everything else that's out there, you'd be hard pressed to get to 15 uh, horsepower for your outboard. This one is 20. I've got the 20 Merc back there and um, she can get up and go. This tiny platform truly looks like a skiff, just micro-sized. It's not designated as a skiff, but looks like a kayak or it's a stand-up paddle board with a skiff designation. Um, it's the epitome of a skiff, just micro-sized. When you look at it in comparison to all the other platforms out there, there are some that do look like the skiffs. However, they just lack all those features that give it the attention to detail and makes it stand apart from everything else out there. The components that make up this platform are top notch. We've got a stainless steel rub rail all the way around. The bow cleat, it's pretty hefty. I know I've talked bad about it in the past, but that's just because the one that I got, it failed on me and uh, in comparison to a lot of the other skiffs that are out there on the market the cleats that they use because they're designated as being used on a micro skiff I'm like that looks like a little toy in comparison to what I've got for my stainless pop-up one on the bow and the the hatches everything has that attention to detail look that the other makes could not deliver on and she truly is the epitome of a micro skiff. When you look at her and if she was next to any of the competitors, nine times out of 10, everybody is gonna come to this one with curiosity and admiration. And that's exactly what I get whenever I'm traveling to and from the water and they just come up just curious, like, hey, I've never seen one of those before. And correct you are it's because it costs a lot of money it's an absurd amount of money to pay for such a small platform yes I could have got a John boat I could have bought two John boats fully rigged for the same price as this I could have probably purchased three solo skiffs for the same price that I paid for this I mean the list would go on and on on what I could have got however I didn't want any of those other things I know exactly what it is that I need for fishing the way I love to fish, fishing in the waters that I wanna fish. Uh, I've also received so many comments on like, why would you purchase a fiberglass hull when you know you go into marsh systems that are littered with oyster and shell? Well, I didn't purchase this to go fish the places that I still fish from in the kayak. That's what I got the kayak for. I still have every intent on fishing from a kayak. I got this to be able to search, to go further, to do new things that the kayak would not allow me to do, to explore new marsh systems that are maybe five to 15 miles away. I'm no longer limited in range on what I can do and travel to in a reasonable amount of time. This skiff is truly a masterpiece. It's a work of art. And with me being in this market, and my eyes being opened up to a lot more makes out there, there truly are some great platforms coming along and I can't wait to try some of those out whenever they do finally make it to market. But as it stands, nobody has been able to beat this skiff out with its features, the customization that you're able to do, all the colors that you're able to select from, you were always limited to what it was that you can have and the company themselves they will truly work with you to get your skiff customized exactly the way you want to and when it when it's finished it is a work of art it's going to be a masterpiece that everybody's going to admire to include yourself so when you're fishing from this every day you can truly rest easy and know that your money was well spent on some of the very finest components and features that money can buy. So that right there, in a nutshell, she just looks sexy. She's better than the competition that's out there. As far as the way I fish it, I know there's oyster in my waters. I know that I've gotta watch out for that, but that's just knowledge, knowing the bay system. And with so much more water opened up to me, Yes, I'm gonna strike some of these oyster reefs that are out there because I don't know about them yet. 
and it's a growing pain, but who comes out into our Galveston Bay system and knows everything automatically? Only those with the experience. So, I'm going through some of the growing pains with not being able to get super skinny, but that was with two people. With one person, everything is completely achievable the way I would be able to do with my kayak. And that right there, in a nutshell, <laughs> is a big nutshell. That right there is why I decided to go with the h Skiff 13. Phenomenal platform. Highly recommend you check them out. Whenever you get a chance to, if someone has one, just go over, take a look at it, and you'll see exactly what it is that I'm saying. Thank you so much for sticking with me through the entirety of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that thumbs up button, and I'll see y'all next time when we're off the water.